Well, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you're watching us. Welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Evans Okinye, and of course, I'm here joined by the one and only political commentator, analyst, Professor Herman Manyora, because he's a professor at the University of Nairobi. Prof, how are you? Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Very first, Prof, I want us to dive into this conversation again. You saw the kind of elections, by elections taking place in Bungoma. Of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm alive to the fact that you are very vast with Western Kenyan politics. And then, let, let me just begin from here. One, we witnessed some sort of a low voter turnout in that by-election. Uh, for a senatorial position, why do you think that actually uh, people decided not to turn out in large numbers? As you know, if I ask you something, if I tell something, <laughs> you'll be shocked. I don't know. Has it taken place? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I have no idea. The only thing I saw and I was shocked was or the say he was not given a UDA ticket in the I saw this and I was shocked. Uh -huh. so you mean that they already voted? Yeah, the voting took place yesterday. Today, in fact, as we speak, Who won we, in are, we are waiting for the results. Of course, the, the Ford Kenya candidate is, a, is ahead. ahead. Okay, well, of course, Wafula Wakoli is ahead. Is ahead now. Let, let, let's begin from here. From the question that I asked, why do you think people uh, did not turn out? And in fact, I'm even surprised that you you are not even aware that it's. Do you know how the funeral? Do you, do you, you think know, the, funeral is very difficult? Mm -hmm. And my funeral had a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sorry for that, yeah, by yeah. the way. Now, tell what, what do you think? What do you think actually informs the kind of uh, low voter turnout that we've witnessed down there? Normally, you know, in this country, by mm -hmm. elections attract very low voter turnout. It's normal. Mm -hmm. That's very normal. And for Bungoma, you know, people were hyped by the hustler thing, and I think that's, that, that, that those vibes are no longer with the people. Mm -hmm. People are no longer as excited about the hustler thing as they were at that time. Mm -hmm. But generally, we know. By election, don't attract numbers. Mm -hmm. It's very common. I, I, I saw I saw a number of a number of them being interviewed in season TV, and they was like saying, "You people, we were promised a lot of things, and we've not seen any of them implemented. Uh, so we do not actually see the need for us to go out there and participate in those all elections and so on and so forth." That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. There was so much in, by way of promises from from the Kenya Kwanzaa campaign. Mm -hmm. And the expectations were that high, and nothing, the reality has slapped them, that this guy seemed to have just been playing around with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that way they can no longer be as excited, the vibes I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Moses Wetangula, being a senior principal in Kenya Kwanzaa, had his candidate, of course, David Wafula Wakoli. I, I believe you know him of Ford Kenya yeah. running. And why do you think that uh, the UDA side was quite adamant and refused to leave that position to Ford Kenya and decided to file their own candidate? And perhaps what do you think uh, uh, would be the impact of UDA facing it off with Ford Kenya in the same coalition for that matter? You, you, you know, I, I found this thing that uh, ANC and Ford Kenya allowed Ruto to field candidates in the last election, general election, in mm -hmm. their strong It should have been a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. We support you for the president. How do you feel people against us? So I thought, I think they got to a point where they, th they said, well, since reason can't prevail, let's just go into the ring. Mm -hmm. Let's fight it out. Yeah. We saw, we saw this with, with the UDA. The other side, the other time, of course, is good. they've got a senator in, in Western. Bonnie Alwale is a senator on a UDA party ticket. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking uh, about. He is there. And we even saw initially... Even Mdavad is uh, MP's UDA. Mm -hmm. Even Mdavad is MP. And, 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 and even the Nairobi governor, actually, uh, Sakaja, Sakaja was in ANC. Yeah. What is it that actually... Yeah, uh, and, so and things happened. They allowed Ruto to overwhelm them. Mm -hmm. And I think the damage is already cost. Mm -hmm. Even if they win Bungoma, the damage is already cost. They have not presented themselves as very formidable community leaders mm -hmm. by allowing Ruto to fill UDA successfully in their stronghold, they have shown that they are not very formidable mm -hmm. and credible community leaders mm -hmm. yeah, so they must do something they must re-engineer the game uh, perhaps fighting it in the Bungoma mm -hmm. was one is a good starting point but going forth they must know that what Ruto is going to do is to get some leaders who will not be who will be beholden to him. Mm -hmm. Let's just use my friend Atwoli, for example, just as a good example. Mm -hmm. An example, for example. He has perhaps indicated that he'll work with the government. Mm -hmm. Will he be 
so to speak, mm -hmm. a Ruto person or a Mudavadi person. Mudavadi and Wetangula must be awake to this reality mm -hmm. that if Ruto is fielding candidates like he did against them, even in a by election, mm -hmm. they must be careful because some of the people who come from the Raila side to the Ruto side will be directly Ruto people as opposed to Mudavadi. Mm -hmm. That way, the influence of Wetangula and Mdavadi in Western Kenya, Western province, will be very minimal. So that coming 2027, they will make very little demands. Because they will not be powerful. They will not be as needed mm -hmm. as they would want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, recently when uh, uh, the president was in, of course, was in Western uh, Kenya with the other Luya leaders, but we've, we saw... Uh, the absence of uh, Moses Wetangula and uh, actually the president's party decision to file a candidate in Bungoma did not actually augur well with him. Do you even, think with perhaps, Mdavad, even with Mudavadi, they were not very happy, but it's not, getting annoyed is not enough mm -hmm. in the politics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think perhaps... This you must be strategic, uh -huh. tactical. For example, it is, it is when they let the president be the one to receive at Wally. Mm -hmm. They already lost it. After Tully had been to pay a cutter's call to, to Mudavadi, Mudavadi should have grabbed that opportunity mm -hmm. to be the one bringing a Tully on board, to move with him mm -hmm. in Western, so that he can be the one owning him, owning in quotes. Eh? But they have left it to Ruto, who now takes the credit. So that the entry of a troll into government politics on the government side really is a credit to Ruto as opposed to them. Mm -hmm. So that diminishes their power within the region. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Mudavadi said something about uniting the, 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 the Mulembe nation. Yes. And of course, uh, we saw him make statements as we've been rid ridiculed and he was saying to me, So my, my question is this, in his bid to kind of try to cement that kind of unity within the Mulembe nation. Don't you think now the kind of uh, steps being made, or rather the way it's being made by the UDA, would that perhaps hinder the, 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 the uh, kind of the, his quest for unity in that area? Because you'll not expect that perhaps Boni Haluale would do anything that is against his party. No, he would Or perhaps if, if at so all... You have, you, have, you have Boni Haluale, who else? others, they will be beholden to Ruto. Mm -hmm. How does that strengthen the Luya unity? How does that strengthen Mdavad and Wetangula? Mm -hmm. On the contrary, it weakens them. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying I laughed when they went to Ruto. That was the wrong move to make. The best thing would have been, and I want to repeat here, for those who think I hate Mdavad or Wetangula, mm -hmm. I've heard it from Mutangula's mouth, and Manyola, you hate me so much. I don't hate them. Mm -hmm. What they needed to have done was to show the country that Luyas are not people who take for a ride. Not by attacking Raila, no. by mm -hmm. acting. Not by going to Ruto. Because you are going to play second fiddle mm -hmm. on Ruto's side. What they should have done is to fold Ford Kenya. Tupayo Katasi, Rarua, Ford Kenya certificate. Chukoya ANC Rarua. Mm -hmm. Luyas are going to speak with one voice. As we seek partnership with other Kenyans, they start a party mm -hmm. with Mudabadi and Wetangula, the leaders of that party. Raila would have gone to kneel for them, to kneel. Mm -hmm. Ruto would have gone to kneel. They would have been strong. In fact, Azimio would have considered one of them perhaps as presidential candidate. But they choose to run away from Raila and then go and play second fiddle. Mm -hmm. You know, you run away from your home because you think your father is not giving, your mother is not giving you enough food and what. Then you go and become a houseboy mm -hmm. in somebody's home. Mm -hmm. So they will remain weak until they realize the problem is they do not want to play strong themselves. They want to play weak. So when you play weak, outsiders will exploit you. Now that they are working together, it's never been this easy for lawyers from the northern, the Pukusu, to work with the southern, Maragoli. But now that they are together, the two most populous, they should exploit that. 
and begin doing what they have done in Bungoma. And make it clear that Western is not a place for anybody to come and play. Once they are now strong, they can choose a partner. For 2027, they can work with Azimio. Mm -hmm. They can work with Ruto. But nobody will take them for granted. But if they allow Ruto to play them against each other, to get leaders from the community and work with them directly, they will mm -hmm. remain weak and they will be inconsequential come 2027. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Does it? No, no. Proof my question is this. With the, perhaps the central Kenya, okay, the Mount Kenya people holding Russia at ransom, of course, right now, it's not easy for him to easily cough over there. You saw the other time uh, with the ALA stuff, some of yeah. these people, they did not actually want Kanini Kega in, but of course, Gashagwa came up and did that. Of course, it's not that easy to control them, being that they have the numbers. Do you think that perhaps uh, uh, Ruto, 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 Ruto would, uh, would be wise enough to let the lawyers unite on their own and perhaps stop these games of finding candidates if at all he's supposed to depend on them if in any case something goes wrong on the mountain you can depend on the lawyers uh -huh. it's a good game it's a strategy i think he's already employing uh -huh. but uh, the lawyers are also not what people think they are they are not as as uh, fragmented as many people think mm -hmm. It's just that they lack a central leader, force, to unite them. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are not as fragmented. Atoli has always said it and I support him on that. The leaders are united, but they lack somebody powerful, mm -hmm. like Raila, like Ruto, you know, to hold the community together. Uh, having said that, I must also point out to you that uh, if you intend to remove the leaders from their brothers across, mm -hmm. around the lake, mm -hmm. You'll have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Some of these things are cultural. Like 30-20% of Luos and Luyas, you can't tell whether they are Luo or Luya. This is unknown to many people. A big chunk of Busia is Luo, Luya. A big chunk of Siaya is Luyas. Mm -hmm. But they speak the Luo. <laughs> so even at that point alone, at the cultural, the blood level, and the, the politics of the region from independence has put some of these people together. It is not an easy thing to say you can then get all the lawyers. The closest you can get to getting lawyers, all of them in one basket, if you have a formidable candidate for president supported by bigger groups. Mm -hmm. If Mdabadu was running for president or Wetangula and they are supported by Ruto or by Gashagwa mm -hmm. or by Raila, mm -hmm. then every lawyer will vote for for, for. But in the absence of that, you cannot take them away from Raila or from Mazimio very easily. It will be a, mm -hmm. quite a task. Okay, well and good, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we're wishing the next senator for uh, Bungoma County. You haven't told me who won in Elgeo Marrakech. Who is getting to win? Elgeo Marrakech? No, yes. the, the, there's, uh, is yet to be conducted, I think, in January. Oh, there's the a journal. Yeah, this one it, came it, earlier. Yeah, it, it, it was only, the one that was conducted was only for, for Bungoma. How come? I don't know, but that is actually, you remember the, the case was different actually. Uh, Bungoma, uh, the seat was de declared vacant earlier on, but then, you know, for the uh, El Geo Marakwet, of course, we had to wait for the appointment by the by the president for these seats. Oh, we, yeah, okay. Actually, okay. That is, so the dates are actually a little bit different, but we are waiting to see, of course, as I told you, uh, Fula Akoli had already taken an early lead in Bungoma. And of course, we have seen that, uh, let's wait and see if Moses Wetangula for the Kenya party will keep the only senatorial seat that they had then. Ladies and gentlemen, that is at the end of this conversation today, of course, in, in our YouTube channel here at Haman Manyora. And of course, we are saying that do not fail to subscribe and listen, tune into other programs that we are producing here at Nairobi Review. Till we have this conversation again, have yourself have a lovely day. My name is Evans Okini. Okay.